Welcome back to the Dencorn channel. My name is Den. Today, this is my updated experience on one of my most viewed videos on the channel. It is now currently 2024. I'm going to give you an update on my experiences using a Hackintosh in the current era because the, I, I, as you can see, I've kind of, um, what's it call it? Upgraded my operating system to Mac OS Monterey version 12.7.3. Now, when I did the first Hackintosh video, I did Catalina. As you can see, I hate the fact that I know it's just there's something wrong with graphics or something on here because I keep it. The graphics are just dying on me. It's just lagging like crazy left, right, and center. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I can still do stuff. Um, not much has changed from the last time I made a video on a Hackintosh. However, I did get audio working. I don't think I actually did in the last video. I'm not too sure, but got the audio working. I'll do a test with this. Pause. Thank you. It's pretty much all working. Uh, we've got literally everything I need. So I can literally open up Word. And then I can literally type away. Just like that. It does all work. It is perfectly fine. The only issue I'm having is um, the battery. The battery is dying on me for some reason. Because um, I think... I remember literally yesterday or like when I went to bed earlier this morning because I went to bed at like 3am trying to sort this out. Um, this said, I think it was said like 75 and now it's going down to 61. I pretty much need to replace the battery because I remember it, even here it tells you to get the battery re repaired or replaced. And I, and by the way, I do have it plugged in until now. So I will close coconut battery. But yeah, all of it works. Um, VS Code, um, which is pretty useful. Um, the one thing I will admit, there is one program out there that if you're on Windows is very useful. If you like to destroy your operating system, I've got something for you. This is Julia Installer. This actually does destroy your system. And, you know, Dantify did, you know, create the whole program using VS Code and PowerShell ISE. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, I'll leave a link to the GitHub in the description below. Uh, version two should be up very, very soon. Currently version two beta three with all of these being, you know, in the application. This will be coming out in the stable release of version two, which should be the next version. Uh, but yeah, I've got version two beta two, beta one, two, oh no, version 1.1, sorry. I like how Danify says in version 1.1, this is the last version of Julia and Solo version one. Version two of Julia and Solo will be still similar to version 1.1, but with a brand new addition to spice up the program. Oh, Danify changed the light in version two, by the way. There's a whole menu redesign everything. So yeah, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. My macOS experience is working. Um, it is a bit choppy at times. It's a bit sluggish, but I think that's because I'm running Monterey on such old hardware however i do want to get a newer system to that will hopefully support it better because then i'll have mac os probably ventura perfectly running on this on a hackintosh if not i'll probably just buy a macbook and then give my honest um opinions on using a macbook in current year audio works that's really good um the camera works which i'll oh, get obs up for a second the camera works just like that Hello, hello viewers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why it's really dark for some reason inside of Mac OS. It's really weird. I think you kind of have to mess around with it because if I, well, let's say turn the light on, it probably will fix it a little. Yeah, as you can see, it fixes it a lot. And I think that could either be because of my camera or something else. Oh God, it's telling me, it's, okay, OBS is dying. It's fine. But yeah, Discord and all that works. Um, yeah, this is pretty much my clean macOS Monterey install. I do plan to put in better or an actual Wi-Fi card into here because I'm using literally USB Wi-Fi. But yeah, I'll, I'll figure out the Wi-Fi stuff in a later date. So yeah, um, thank you all very much for watching this Dencorn video. If you happen to enjoy it and you want to see more videos like this, uh, definitely consider hitting the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more content. Sorry I don't really post that often. Um, but I definitely will make sure to post more consistently in the near future. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.